Our tech chemicals is aiming to become one of the world's leading suppliers of high purity alumina, HPA, through the construction and operation of a 4,500 tonnes per annum processing plant in Malaysia. Feedstock for this plant will be sourced from its wholly owned kaolin deposit in Western Australia. HPA is used in the production of synthetic sapphire, a key component of multiple products, including lithium ion battery manufacturers. Joining me to discuss more is CEO and Managing Director Iggy Tan. Iggy, welcome to TCN TV. Thank you for having me. An independent verification phase of Altec's method for the alumina coating of graphite particles is due to be completed this quarter. What happens next in this process? So we announce a very exciting uh, breakthrough where we have the technology of coating uh, graphite particles with high purity alumina. And the uh, lithium battery industry has been grappling with this problem for a long time because once they can solve this problem, they can solve the, uh, the first cycle lithium loss in batteries. So about 8% of lithium is lost in a battery before you even get it as a customer. And if they can crack this, uh, it'll be a, a major breakthrough for lithium batteries. Now, Altec Chemicals has just signed a collaboration agreement with a leading silicon producer. Iggy, what are the highlights of this agreement? Well, when we announced the uh, previous anode uh, development, uh, uh, the news on was uh, picked up by a, a silicon producer, and they're also uh, adding more silicon to the anode side of the battery. So. Uh, silicon is uh, 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 10 times better than graphite. And um, recently, Tesla announced in the battery day that they want to add more silicon to the graphite side or the anode side to improve the uh, energy density for batteries. And according to Tesla, uh, in the next five to seven years, more and more silicon will be in the anode side of a lithium battery. And this leading uh, silicon uh, producer approached us uh, to work in collaboration uh, to apply our uh, breakthrough technology of coding HPA onto their silicon particles. And that was the uh, collaboration agreement that we announced uh, today. Now, Iggy, as you mentioned Tesla's battery day and following on from the agreement with the leading silicon producer, why is Tesla's vision good news for our tech and really everyone in this industry? Uh, I guess uh, Tesla set the vision where uh, the current cost of uh, batteries is around $120 US dollars per kilowatt, and they want to get it below $100 a kilowatt. Uh, and um, they, their uh, battery cap um, production capacity, their battery, their battery production capacity wants to go up uh, nearly uh, five times to the, from its current level. So uh, that is really the vision and uh, everybody in, in the uh, lithium battery industry are moving to reduce that cost down to a sub $100 a kilowatt. Moving to your rights issue now, our tech chemicals has launched a $14.5 million capital raising. Where will these funds be deployed? Yeah, we recently announced a uh, rights issue for $14.5 million, which 52% of that is already underwritten by our two major shareholders, uh, a Deutsche Balaton Delphi Group, as well as Malawa Group. So. Um, the funds that we're going to raise is going to be used in uh, several areas. The first one being uh, to finalise the stage two construction at our Malaysian plant in Johor. Um, the other area that we're going to focus on is the development of the anode grade high purity alumina, which I mentioned before. That's very exciting. Uh, we have some money scheduled for purchasing some land in uh, East Germany that potentially will be where our next plant will be. Uh, whilst we're focused on funding or closing the funding for the Malaysian plant, we also be, have to be mindful of the planning process for future plants. You know, plants take a long time to uh, develop, uh, you know, feasibility studies or funding and, and actually construct. So 
we want to get that planning process uh, in place. And essentially, we've got an option to purchase some land in um, East Germany. We think that our next plant will be in Europe because there's much more focus on raw materials for the battery industry uh, coming within Europe for their, for their EV and battery sectors. Now, Altex High Purity Alumina Plant in Malaysia has now completed stage two early works construction. Iggy, what needs to occur before HPA product starts coming from the plant? So we, we're still finalising the uh, project finance for that. Uh, as we have announced, the half of the project finance has been completed with a German bank called KFW IPEX Bank. And um, the... The other debt component, which is roughly 90 to 100 million, we're accessing through the listed green bond markets. Uh, we've recently announced the listed green bond market. Essentially, uh, the uh, bonds that go out, uh, there are a lot of people in uh, Europe that are interested in green bonds. Uh, essentially, a green bond means that uh, it's debt for a project that is focused in the green sector. And because our project uh, essentially uses 46% uh, uh, less greenhouse gases to make one ton of HPA, we have been accredited as a green project. So uh, there's a lot of focus on green projects and uh, we hopefully by the quarter two next year, we, have, we would have gone through that green bond process and essentially hope to raise about 100 million of debt for the project. While on funding and given the recent $14.5 million capital raising, how does this change plans for the HPA project to hit a financial close and when do you expect this will occur? So the other part of the, the project finance is the equity part. So we've got $100 million roughly of debt, uh, another $100 million of equity. And we've said that we are going to sell 49% of the project for the equity component of that. Now, we are talking to strategic parties around the world, uh, but also we have created the uh, Alltech Advanced Materials uh, company in the, on the Frankfurt Exchange. And essentially, we've given them an option to purchase 49% for the 100 million US. So essentially, if they raise 100 million, then they become a joint venture partner to our project in uh, Malaysia. We also announced that we have sold 25% of our German subsidiary, where potentially where the German project will be, to Alltech uh, Advanced Materials for 8 million Aussie dollars. Uh, and they're in the process of uh, trying to raise that money. So they're targeting about 5 million euros on a, a, a first tranche raising. Uh, and that will be the, the first step in uh, advancing the European high purity alumina plant. Now, Iggy, much of the potential upside for Altec's share price comes from attempts to commercially develop and produce a HPA grade specifically for anode applications within the lithium ion battery market. How much HPA do lithium ion battery makers demand at the moment? And what do you think it could be like in 10 years time? High purity alumina is a great product because the demand is not only driven from lithium ion batteries, it's also driven from LEDs. Um, as you know, every LED has to have a sapphire wafer substrate. And uh, the sapphire wafer substrates are, come from high purity alumina. So that's one demand. And the second demand is from the lithium battery industry. And as you know, from the growth that is around, the growth forecast that is around for lithium batteries due to EVs and uh, mass energy storage, uh, the demand is very strong. So we expect that high purity alumina probably is used uh, around the world at 30,000 tonnes per annum. It's expected to climb to about 270,000 tonnes per annum by around 2030. So very strong demand growing, going forward. Well, Iggy, thank you very much for joining us today and for all your insights. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching. Now, if you like what you see, please be sure to like and share the video, subscribe to TCN TV and drop us a comment. Tell us who you would like to see next and what you would like me to ask them. Or if you're an investor, send us an email so we can keep you in the loop with the latest ideas to empower.